Now, the candidates joining us tonight are Michael Sorotkin, Philip Baruth, I'm sorry, Tim Ash, Philip Baruth, and Don Ellis. And we're going to start with opening statements. And Michael, can you start for us? Absolutely. Uh, thank you, Howard, for, and to Channel 17 for doing this. Uh, and I mean that uh, we see preciously little opportunity for debates or even forums uh, on this Senate race. In fact, this is, I think, the first one and maybe the only one. We did have one scheduled on June 9th, and we, the incumbent folks here uh, who are sitting senators and a sitting representative, had to go back to the State House, so we missed that one. So five out of the 11 candidates missed that opportunity. So we have very few opportunities like this. I am the new uh, senator on the block. I've been uh, in the Senate for two and a half years, but I'm not a newcomer to the State House. Uh, I dare say my chair, Tim Ash, was probably in preschool when I started working in the State House. Uh, I've been in the State House for 30 years representing um, nonprofits, organizations dealing with housing, the environment, uh, income, um, uh, working people, income inequality issues, and the like. And uh, uh, I've done that for a long time. I started out at Vermont Legal Aid. I'm a lawyer by trade. And I worked at, with senior citizens initially and was a co-director of the Senior Citizens Law Project. And I found that there were two kinds of advocacy. One, individual advocacy, representing an individual client on a case and their facts versus systemic advocacy where you could change the law and change it for hundreds if not thousands of people. So I gravitated and had an opportunity to start uh, doing advocacy at the State House in 1980 and have been doing it ever since. And um, I, I really think that makes a difference and I'm proud of the work that I've done so far. Uh, I'd also just like to say that uh, one other thing, I, I always like to mention my late wife Sally Fox and um, I took her seat and uh, people used to say who knew us that Sally and I always didn't get agree on everything and get along on everything, but one thing we always did agree on was our politics, and I'm proud to continue her legacy in the Senate. Thank you. Thank you. Tim. Well, thank you. Um, my name is Tim Ash, and I've been a state senator representing Chittenden County now for eight years, and it's amazing how time flies serving in the legislature. A quick word about myself. Um, I went to the University of Vermont. I graduated and started working for Bernie Sanders' congressional office when he was a member of the U.S. House. Subsequent to that, I worked for Cathedral Square, which uh, builds and manages affordable senior housing throughout Chittenden and Franklin counties. I was one of the development team members, so we helped build and renovate about 400 apartments throughout the county, and I was very uh, grateful for all the work um, that we did there. I've also served as an instructor at the Community College of Vermont, which has been very rewarding. Uh, I served on the Burlington City Council prior to being in the State Senate, and in 2008, the night that Barack Obama was elected president, I was declared the loser in the Chittenden County State Senate race, only to find out there had been a mistake with the tabulation, and I, in fact, won. So it was a strange start to my Senate career. For the last eight years, I hope I've represented the people of Chittenden County well in several respects. First. It is a very difficult district to represent. It is a uh, very long distance from north to south and east to west, but I've done everything I can to commu communicate with constituents uh, on a regular basis, attend meetings throughout the county, and take the concerns of communities like Bolton and Milton um, and put them in the same level of priority as I would in my hometown of Burlington. On the policy front, I believe, similar uh, to Senator Sorokin and Senator Baruth and also Senator Lyons, who's the other incumbent, uh, have been a strong supporter of cleaning up our environment, uh, where we have a lot of work to do on water quality, uh, have been a strong promoter of renewable energy in my eight years, and we can get into those details after, trying to rein in health care spending while promoting primary care access, and a whole number of other priorities, which include supporting affordable housing, taking care of our elders, and supporting one of the greatest public school systems in the United States. And with that, I'll uh, leave it to the question period. Thank you. Philip. Uh, my name is Phil Baruth. I'm currently the Senate Majority Leader. I've done that job for the last four years. And the bulk of that job is supporting other people. So uh, Senator Ash, Senator Sorotkin, um, as they come forward with bills uh, from their various committees, one of the things I try to do is be 
a team player for the Chittenden District to make sure that all of our priorities go forward. And that includes putting together votes, whipping votes, and making sure we win votes. Um, with that said, I'm also on two committees myself. One of those is economic development. And I want to just mention two things that I worked on a lot this past session and that I'm proud of. The first is paid sick leave. So if you go back to prior to last year, if you worked at a business that was not represented by a union, chances were good you did not have paid sick leave unless you had particularly progressive employers. So we had about 60 to 75,000 Vermonters who worked full time who had no paid sick leave at all, meaning that if their child got sick or they got sick, they had to choose between going to work or caring for that family member or themselves. And if they chose to go to work, they brought their illness to work with them. So working with a lot of people, including the two senators with me here on the panel, uh, I brought forward a bill for the Senate. Uh, and when that didn't go forward, I worked with the Economic Development Committee to forward the House bill. And we were ultimately successful. So now in Vermont, uh, everybody has three days paid sick leave. And in two years, that'll go up to five days. The other thing, quickly, is uh, I worked with Tom Torty at the Lake Champlain Chamber and the VHFA to put together uh, assistance for first-time home buyers, and I'm also proud of that. Dawn? Thanks. Glad to be here. I'm Dawn Ellis from Burlington. I'm running for State Senate, Chittenden District. I am not yet an incumbent, but proud to be sitting with an austere group tonight. I come as someone who brings grassroots experience in our state. So in my 20s, I hit the streets and built with a team of people, including volunteers on our board and partners from Spectrum and Howard Center for Human Services, built an organization that continues today that was focused on including people with disabilities, people with transient housing, people who didn't speak English yet, may have just come a day ago, uh, and helping them through education programs and partnerships become more connected with the community. So in my 20s, I just took this on and we built something that seemed to matter. And as I was doing this work, you know, I said to myself, our sector um, does a lot of good, but how do we know how we're doing? How do we know that this is the best way to meet that mission? And that question bothered me. And finally, I decided I need to learn how to do this for, for our field, for this work. And from there, I went and developed the skill set of a researcher and of someone who works in the policy arena so that I could measure what matters in the work of helping people. And today, um, continually, creating and adapting to the need that we have. I have a socially responsible business and I work around the country, working with foundations and governments and local coalitions that are all in the business of helping people. And we do research and we help them be strategic and plan. And this is the kind of thinking that I'd love to bring to our state. So I'm running on a platform of sustainability for people and families and investing in our environment of social justice, inclusion, and of strategic planning, because I think I can help. Thank you. 